example number one. Given that x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5 equals to ax times x minus 1 squared plus b times x minus 1 plus c, for all values of x, find the values of a, b, and c. Okay, so as mentioned earlier, there are two methods, the substitution method as well as the comparing coefficients method. So in this slide, we'll be exploring the substitu substitution method. And from the term substitution, we will be choosing or selecting some values of x so that we can substitute into the expression. So what values should we choose? And uh, you know how should we perform our substitution? So looking at the expression on the right hand side of the equation, I can see that if I were to substitute x equals to 1, so if let's say I were to sub x equals to 1, what will happen? You will see that this term over here and this term over here becomes 0 because 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, so that is probably something I want to do. Okay, so, and uh, you will see that a and b gets eliminated. Okay, let's let's uh, let's let's try it. Okay, so if I substitute x equals to one into the left hand side of the equation, so one cubed minus two times one square plus five is equals to a times one times one minus one square plus b times one minus one plus c, and now we realize that this term and this term becomes zero so therefore okay therefore if i were to simplify this this term becomes zero and this term becomes zero because b times zero is zero okay so on our right hand side we only we are only left with c and on the left hand side we got one minus two plus five and that is just a four and straight away we have just solved for the value of c therefore c is just 4. okay and uh, we will perform a few more substitutions to eventually get all the values of a to get the values of a b and c and the next value i probably want to choose is to try zero okay substituting x equals zero can be very helpful at many times because if you look over here if i were to sub x equals zero then a times zero is zero okay and this term will be gone so therefore, okay, let, let's uh, try it now. So on the left hand side, it will be 0 cubed minus 2 times 0 square plus 5 equals to a times 0, 0 minus 1 squared plus b times 0 minus 1 plus c. And previously, we have found c, we have found c to be 4. So straight away, I'll write it here as c equals to 4. So sub x equals 0 and c equals 4. And as we perform our simplification, okay, as we sim try to simplify this, we will see that we have negative b plus 4 on the right hand side and simplifying this even further. okay, So shifting negative b to the right and 5 to the left, we have b equals to 5, 4 minus 5 rather, which is just negative 1. Okay, and finally, we are left with the unknown a to be found. And uh, you know what? we can pretty much choose any value now okay so i'll probably want to choose something nice and simple so let me probably try two okay there's probably no right or wrong values to choose it's just that if you choose your values for substitution in a more strategic sense okay if you choose it wisely then you know you can you can solve it in a faster way so let's let's substitute this in so we have two times two square plus five equals to a times 2 times 2 minus 1 squared plus b so recall that b is negative 1 so b is negative 1 okay 2 minus 1 plus c and recall that c is 4 so sub x is 2 b is negative 1 and c is 4 okay into this expression let's simplify this using our using our calculator to help us and uh, we have 5 over here and uh, for a, we have 2a over here, okay, plus negative 1, okay, plus 4. Okay, so I'm, I'm sort of out of space, so I'm going to continue on the, on the top left-hand corner of your screen here. So if I were to continue over here, and uh, let's see, we have 
5 equals to 2a plus 3. Okay, shifting the 3 to the left, we have 5 minus 3 equals to 2a. And dividing to both sides, we have a equals to 1. Okay, and therefore, our final answer is just a equals to 1, b equals to negative 1, and c is equals to 4. Okay, and uh, in this example, let me just let me just highlight once more that we are using a substitution method. Now let's move on to explore the other method that we can solve, which is known as the comparing coefficients method. So comparing coefficients. Okay, so in the same example, given that you know uh, this is true, find the values of a, b, and c. What I'm going to do now is to expand, okay, or you know to expand this expression out. So we have, okay, let me ex expand the, the, okay, just let me write it over here. So x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5 is equals to ax. x minus 1 squared is x squared minus 2x minus 1, oh, sorry, plus 1, okay, plus bx minus b plus c. Again, expanding this even further, we have a x cubed minus 2ax squared plus ax plus bx minus b plus c. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is to group the terms or to factorize out the terms that contain similar powers of x. Okay, so for x over here, we have a and b. So we have a plus b times x. And finally, at the end, we have, okay, let me just write this in such a way so it's clearer. Now, let us first look at the coefficient of x cubed. So let me just write here. So we are using the comparing. So comparing coefficients of, let's say, x cubed. Okay, on the left-hand side of the equation, we can see that the coefficient of x cubed is actually just 1. And on the right hand side we can see that the coefficient of x cubed is a so straight away we can safely say that 1 is equals to a which is the same as saying that a is equals to 1 and therefore we have already solved for a now let us move on to compare the coefficients of x for example so let me use a different color to make it more obvious so the coefficients of x if you see over on the left hand side of the equation there is no x. There is no x. So, you know, if, if I were to write it out a little clearer, okay, this will be as such. There is no x. Therefore, x is, the coefficient of x is just 0. So, 0 over here. And uh, over here, on the right-hand side of the equation, the coefficient of x is just a plus b. a plus b. So, we can say that the coefficient of x is 0 on the left and a plus b on the right, of which a is 1, which we solved earlier. And therefore, solving this, we will get b is negative 1. And finally, let us co compare the coefficient of the constant term. So let me use a, a different color to show you. So the constant term over here is 5. And on the right hand side of the equation, okay, maybe I should highlight it here instead. Okay, so on the left hand side is 5, and on the right hand side is negative b plus c. Okay, this is our constant term. Therefore, we can say that the constant term, so which is x to the power of 0, or we can call it the constant term, okay, is just. 5 equals to negative b plus c, of which we have solved b equals to negative 1. So 5 equals to negative minus minus 1 plus c. And solving this, we will arrive at c equals to 4. Okay, so we can conclude that a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is equals to 4.
And as you can see, these answers are similar to what to the answers that we have gotten using the substitution method. Okay, so meaning to say that both the comparing coefficient method and the substitution method should give you the same answers. Okay, so it's really up to you as to which method you prefer. Okay, so let's move on to some other examples. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos on identities and polynomials, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see ya.